But most of what I learned was from my father, who had no education at all. My daddy had a third grade education. Smartest man I ever met in my life. I kid you not. If it wasn't for him, I'm not standing here today. So the trip I'm going to take you on is to show you how I got to where I am. Through all the hardships, the failures, I was homeless. I lived in my car for three years, from age 30 to 33. Don't nobody know all of this. So the person you see on this end right now, it was a trip for me. It was a total and complete journey. Sixth grade now, 1968, I'm 10. They sitting up there and uh, people started standing up. Uh, Brenda, Brenda wants to be a doctor. Uh, Larry, Larry wants to be a lawyer. So I stood up and I'm thinking to myself, now this here, this is a gold star moment right here. Oh uh, yeah, this is, this is the day I've been waiting on. I'm gonna get recognized for the brilliant cat that I am. And, and it's no doubt in their mind now who the star student of this school is, cause I done put something on my paper that was unbelievable. Cause nobody had wrote on their paper, I wanna be on TV. I get up in front of the class, she said, what did you write on your paper? This is big. I said, I want to be on TV. She said, why did you write that on your paper? I said, because that was our assignment for today. She said, and what made you think you could write such a thing on your paper? I said, okay, obviously, this is not the proper tone you're talking to when you're about to give me a gold star. And who do you know on TV? I said, nobody. She said, anybody in this school ever been on TV? I said, no, ma'am. She said, anybody in your neighborhood ever been on TV? I said, no, ma'am. She said, well, what makes you think you can be on TV? And she crushed me. I said, I don't know, but that's what I want to do. She said, I'm going to call your house, and I'm going to tell your mother that you're a smart aleck. So when I got home, she on the front porch. And she said, what did you do up at that school? I said, well, mama, I just did what she asked me to do. She asked me what I wanted to be. I wrote, I want to be, I want to be, I want, I want to be on TV. She said, why did you write that on the paper? I said, because mama, that's what I want to be. She said, when your daddy get home, I'm going to tell him you've been up at the school being a smart aleck. So he comes home, he takes his bath, and he's reading the paper. And afterwards, he said, boy, come in here. He said, what is this your mama telling me you did up at the school? And she's standing there. Tell him what you did. And I said, I wrote on a piece of paper, I want to be on TV. He said, what you do that for? I said, because that's what the teacher asked us, Daddy, what we wanted to be. She said, and you're being up there being smart, he going to put a smart answer, he want to be on TV. My father looked at me and said, well, what's wrong with that? She was going, well, slick, he got to be more reasonable like the teacher said. He said, well, Bill, that don't make no sense. If that's what the boy want to be. She said, he can't do what he want to do. Got to do like the teacher said. He said, boy, go in your room. So come in the room a little bit later on. He said, boy, what you write on your paper? I said, I want to be on TV. He said, well, what she want you to put on the paper? I said, I don't know, daddy, like a policeman or ball player or something. That's what all the rest of the boys put. He said, well, put that on the paper. And take it back up to that dream killing health. So he said, now take that paper and put it in your drawer. He said, every night before you go to bed, read your paper. He said, every morning when you get up and go to school, read your paper. I did it. If you turn on your television set seven days a week, I'm on there somewhere, because that is a principle of success that all successful people know. If it, if it is written, so shall it be. What's the deal? If you don't have what you want in life, just check yourself. Is it written anywhere? Have you wrote it down? Have you claimed it? Have you laid it into faith? Have you willed it into existence? Has it become a law? Did you write it down? If it ain't written down, what you want? Now that teacher that gave me that assignment, just, you know, she passed recently. She was an older woman. I loved her. Every year, I sent her a flat screen TV. And what I learned was that success that all successful people know, we write it down. It's a vision board. You got to have vision boards, man. You ought to see what's on my laptop and my computer. Even I, with all God has blessed me with, I still have visions. A man without a dream or vision shall pass. You've all heard this. 
I just, I just try to put it in a way where it's real talk. See, writing it down makes it doable. If you go through a school zone doing 35 miles per hour and the police stop you and a truck was blocking the sign that said 20 miles an hour, guess what? You still get the ticket. You know why? Because it's a written law. They put it into law. They wrote it down. The fact that you ain't read it, the fact that you didn't see the sign, tough. It's written. 20. You break the law, 20. You got to write it down. That's an important thing. See, here's a cold thing I learned. You got to fix your mindset. You change that. The moment you change your thought, your attitude determines your altitude. The moment you change your thought is the moment you change your existence. 